Hey everyone, it's Jason again. Today, let's take a look at the Puetta 2024 new remote ES kit. First off, let's check out the ESC. It looks pretty much the same as the old one, except for a minor adjustment in the position of the LED port. That's the only giveaway for tearing them apart. While the looks haven't changed much, we've made some major improvements to the program. A bunch of users mentioned that the braking force of our old ESC is relatively weak, even in brain mode 4, so in this new ESC, we've increased the braking force, and we've also added some cool new features that you'll need our new remote to unlock. Now onto the remote. It's smaller than the old one, and I think it feels bad in your hand. Turn on the remote, you'll notice it has a color screen. Besides being able to see speed mode, braking mode, odometer, speedometer, and battery level on the screen just like the old remote, the new remote also features voltage and drive display. You can see that the current battery voltage is 40 volt and the board is two-wheel drive. Furthermore, this remote introduces a new four-code display function with a total of 38 four codes. For instance, if I were to describe the whole sensor wire right now, the remote would display the code E06, indicating an issue with the whole sensor. The user remote is not entirely the same as the old remote. You push forward, accelerate, and pull back to brake. Pressing the function button allows you to select different speed modes. Press once for first gear, twice for second gear, three times for third gear, and four times for fourth gear. This is different from the gear shifting of the old remote, which helps prevent accidental shift to higher gears. Holding down the brakes puts the board in parking mode, where the wheels are locked, your ball will slowly low down the hill if you are on a stroke. When you hold on the brake, press the function button allows you to switch between four brake modes, with the fourth mode being the strongest. The new remote also introduces tuning functions. When the remote is turned off, press and hold two buttons to end the tuning mode. Here you can set between two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. You can choose the speed unit, select between hub motors and valve motors, adjust rear diameter, and more. You can even set the maximum speed, acceleration curve, and current for each speed mode. This is really awesome for those who like to customize their board's features. Personally, I love this feature very much. Additionally, you can also set different display colors for each speed mode. This new remote is compatible with all our previous OES models, but the new features added to the remote can only be activated when paired with our 2024 new ESC. And please note that this LED model is not compatible with our new ESC. The light program for the new ESC has also undergone significant changes, offering more lighting modes and effects. We are currently developing the new LED modules, and once they are released, you can purchase and use them. Alright, that's it for today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.